respond? Yeah, I would. Not directly to what David said, but I, I figured that I haven't really answered your question. You asked about social media. And I think the difference with social media and traditional media is that social media is much more sensitive to human rights stories and to on the ground <coughs> perspective. And I think that Israel, the story David is telling about two societies equal in a conflict where everything is about security and good guys and bad guys and one guy wants peace and the other doesn't want, is very compelling. But in the reality, there are the Palestinians and the people under occupation and the people who suffer from abuse of their human rights are real people. And they're, as I said, people older than the age of almost everyone in this room, almost, who never been one day in their life free, which is something that in today's society is hard to understand. Never been free one day. Now, once you have people with access to these people who will report their daily troubles every day, the story will not be about the governments. I'm not interested to tell you, I'm less and less interested, of course I'm interested, but I'm less and less interested in my perspective as a social media person in the complicated maneuvering between Abu Mazen and Netanyahu. And frankly, I think most people got to the point where they're fed up with it. On both sides, and in Washington as well. And I think most of you kind of read the same stories for years about that. I'm interested in the person who, who was evic evacuated from, from his house in Jerusalem where he lived for 30 years to make way for a settler family last week. That's what interests me. And these are the social media stories. And if I may, I would like to make a prediction. I would guess that you would hear more and more of these stories about Israel soon, and they will become the stories of the mainstream media as well. I guess that Israel is going to face some challenges that it never faced before concerning media. And as an Israeli, I wish that my government, instead of responding them by launching millions of dollars of project for people to give their side of the story, would actually do active steps to improve the life of Palestinians, and it doesn't have to be give them the independence if Israel thinks that it's unacceptable right now, but stop, you know, the military court system, the separated roads, let them travel, let them work. That's what I would like to see. And, um, and I think that's the kind of question, because of social media, that's the kind of question you're going to be hearing about Israel from now on. I I just want to say one sentence because I, the, the debate or the, the panel is about social media and Israel's image. I just want to say one sentence that if social media will present Israel the negative parts of occupation, if social media will present to the Israelis the, uh, the wrong way sometimes um, different fractions in society are acting, I don't have a problem with that. On the contrary, if this is something that which will make the Israeli society a better society, a more just society, I don't have a problem.